thought you were on my side. I am on your that side. That doesn't sound like it. No. From one obsessive to another, all I'm saying is sometimes things, you need to give them a little distance, that's all. <laughs> from my husband? No, from the case, all right? Things get cloudy, you need to take a little break. Maybe you and Daniel, you want to... Danny. I'm sorry, Danny. Look, it's a beautiful day outside. Maybe you want to take a walk in the park. I mean, what do you say, buddy? You want to get a little fresh air? No, he doesn't. And you know what? I, I don't need you to stand in for Jason. I don't stand in for anyone, Sam. I am sorry you can't be with your son, but that doesn't mean you get to borrow mine. That's not what I'm doing. It's just, Jason would hate this. He wouldn't want you here, and he definitely wouldn't want you spending time with his son. Okay. I see that I've upset you. I'll go. No, don't do that. Don't. I'm the one who's kicking you out right now. Okay. Concentrate on your own family, John. Leave mine alone. Hello? Hey, Sam, it's, uh, it's AJ. Um, Look, I can't deal with this right now. Listen, I'm sorry if it's a bad time, but there's something you need to know. What happened? Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. Mom could probably tell you <clears throat> better than I can, but you know what? I just uh, know he'd want to see you. And I know he'd want to meet Danny. Edward loved Jason very much. I can't believe this is happening. Are you ready? You know, go. Um, I'll wait for you down here. You coming? Um, no, Tracy doesn't really want me up there. You're his family, too. Listen to me. You're the one he needs to see. I want you to go up there, and I want you to tell him what he means to you. Okay, I'll tell him for the both of us. Uh, no, it's it's fine. How did you know to come? Uh, AJ called us. Well, I'm, I'm sure Edward is going to be delighted to see his great grandson. And you. And you. Can he hear us? I believe he can. And you should do. I'll give you some time. Thank okay. you. start. Look, I know we, uh, we haven't always been close. But I admire you so much, great-grandfather. And everything that you do is out of love. I didn't always understand that, but I do now. My last name isn't Quartermain, and I didn't end up working at ELQ, but you made me feel like a part of this family anyway. Just thank you for that. For all of it. I love you, and I'll never forget you. I would like you to meet someone. This is your great-grandson, Daniel Edward. Danny, can you say hi? Huh? I wish you could see him. Jason named him after you, and I thought it was perfect. <laughs> There's so much alike, you know? And Danny has big blue eyes. He's so sweet and he's so calm, just like Jason. 
I mean, he would be because Jason is Danny's biological father. That's right. Love one out. We're gonna make you proud. I'm gonna raise this family. You're gonna be proud. I am so glad that Edward got to see the baby. Thank you for bringing him. Yes, of course. I, I, it was amazing, wasn't it? I mean, he just reached out and touched him. It was just like he knew he was there. I guess you heard then, huh, about Jason? Yes, I heard that Jason is this miracle baby's father. I'm so sorry for not telling you sooner. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I know it wouldn't have made any difference to Jason, but it's something that I have prayed for. Me too. I just, I really wish Jason was here to say goodbye. Me too. Thank you. Yeah, I saw AJ when I was coming down the stairs. Thank you. I know it means a lot to AJ that he could see Edward. How was my father? He held out his hand and Danny grabbed his finger. <laughs> I knew it. Don't count Daddy out yet. Um, Tracy said so it would be okay if I came in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, EJ. He's gone. <laughs> what do you mean gone? He can't be gone. Tell her. He moved his hand. I was there, Tracy. Well, but th that means that... Oh, Monica, it's not possible. But Edward was with us to the end. He spoke. It was just one word, but it was clear as a bell. What did he say? Lila. <laughs>